Hi there, I'm Katie Button. Today I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite flavor base, sofrito. It is the foundation of Spanish cooking. Right now, I'm gonna show you how to make pescado con sofrito, which is a seared fish dish. It is fast, simple, easy, and delicious. I love sofrito because it's made with simple ingredients, kind of whatever you have on hand. I traditionally like to use it with tomato, onion, and garlic. And there's kind of a cool trick that I found that allows you to get that like tomato flavor in without worrying about peeling tomatoes. Cut it in half with the cut part to the box grater. You're gonna grate until you're left with nothing but the skin, just like that. This is a blended oil. It's like a little bit of grapeseed oil and extra virgin olive oil together. Turn my heat on. I'm gonna add the onion first. So while the onions are cooking, I'm gonna grate the rest of the tomatoes and I'm gonna add a little bit more oil because my pan's starting to look dry. If your pan gets too dry, I mean, that's when you can burn versus nicely brown your onions. I first learned how to make sofrito from a fisherman in Catalonia, his name's Andreu, and the trick that he showed me really is how dark you have to get all of these ingredients, how deep brown. And I think it takes seeing somebody do it to learn that you can actually brown them that far. That's what I'm hoping to show you today. This is how dark you want to get your onions. It's really pretty brown. I'm gonna to toss them off to one side, add a little more oil, and add the garlic to the pan. I'm gonna let the garlic cook a little bit over here before I mix it back with the onion. As the garlic browns and cooks, it tends to stick to the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna add the tomato before that garlic that's kind of sticking to the bottom of the pan starts to burn. This is the part where you really can't stop stirring. We're well past caramelizing. It's looking really good. Andrea, the, the fisherman I know would be very proud. Okay, I'm gonna add the tomato now because it's starting to get really dark. But now that we've added the tomato, we're gonna cook this down with the garlic and the onion again until it's all brown, rich, caramelized. I didn't come into cooking on a traditional path. I actually have an engineering background and then switched careers. The thought process behind recipes and organization and structure is just like a lab. Everything is detailed so that any cook that is working or preparing that recipe can follow it precisely. That works well for my brain. Like, that's how I think. And I've seen it really positively benefit our ability to create consistency. I think that the best thing about my engineering background that works in cooking in kitchens is that it's not all about cooking. I'm a whiz at an Excel spreadsheet, which comes in handy when you're like counting numbers and inventory and food costs. Like, you don't think about all of that going into running a restaurant, but it's really important. It's almost like a jam consistency right now, and we're gonna keep going, keep reducing it. Making sofrito is a great entry point to getting into cooking Spanish food. So if you learn how to do this and take your time, you can really make hundreds of Spanish dishes from this point forward. So start here. Also, I want to say do not forget to hit the subscribe button below so that you can see how I turn this into a rice dish, arroz, and then empanadillas, small empanadas. This looks amazing. It's really dark, rich, brown, kind of reddish, almost on the edge of burnt. I'm looking at the bits on the bottom of the pan. So if we don't take so long, I like to make it in a batch ahead of time, but it means that I could lose this delicious brown bits that are stuck to this bottom of the pan. To not do that, I'm gonna show you a little trick. We're just gonna splash of water. Basically, this is deglazing. Put it back over the heat, and what's gonna happen is the water is going to start simmering, which is gonna clean the bottom of the pan. Look at that. Perfect. Mm. Super jammy delicious, nutty. Now we have not left a single ounce of flavor behind and the sofrito is done. 
Now that we've made the sofrito, I'm gonna make pescado con sofrito, a really simple like weeknight dinner dish. I have a couple fillets of golden tile fish here, but you could use any fish. I'm gonna dry them a little bit because you wanna make sure that the skin sears up nice and we're gonna season them well with salt. The key to cooking fish is to get your hand hot. So I'm adding a little bit of oil. Again, this is that blended oil. I like the flavor from the olive oil and the grapeseed oil brings that like high heat component. That's hot. You can see the smoke like just starting. So I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. We're gonna add our fish skin side down. I'm gonna take a fish spatula and I'm just gonna press lightly on the fish because it wants to curl and I'm just gently pressing it so that it stays kind of even contact with the pan and that will ensure that your skin crisps nice and golden brown evenly. I'm turning my heat down a little bit. And the most important thing is a hot pan. That's what will keep your fish from sticking. That and not touching it until it's ready to release which can be hard because it's really tempting. I'm just tossing the oil like under those fish skins occasionally. Sometimes if it gets dry under the skin, you'll end up with burn spots. Okay, I'm gonna flip the fish over. It's nice and golden brown and the skin is really crispy. The same thing applies to the other side. Again, you don't wanna mess with it until it gets um, golden brown and my pan is still pretty hot. Just moving this over to a resting plate so that I can make my sauce. We're gonna take a really big heaping spoonful of sofrito, a cup of fish stock and a cup of white wine. And now we're gonna cook this down until the sauce has thickened and almost completely reduced. But not boiled over. It has almost simmered or evaporated out, which is what we're looking for. I'm gonna taste it. See if it needs any salt. It needs to cook down a little bit more. And it definitely needs salt. What I'm tasting for is that the raw kind of wine flavor has gone away. Okay, for the last little bit of cooking, I'm gonna put my fish back in the pan, skin side up to finish cooking through. Great, fish is done. Let's dig in. It looks delicious. Mm. The fish skin is crispy. The fish itself is flaky and just cooked. And the sauce has this like creamy, rich quality with a nice acidity. It's really, really quite delicious. This turned out to be an awesome dish. Hit the subscribe button because we're gonna move on and look into making a dish of arroz, a rice dish with the sofrito and some things I have in my fridge, as well as empanadillas, small empanadas. So subscribe now to follow along.